Uh, hello, viewers at home. So, uh, Pastor Salim, as he, as he said, so we're going to be looking at the Trinity of God, as I believe that there is a Trinity of God. So we're going to be looking at that. Uh, before I say something, I'd like us to go to the Word of God uh, in order to clarify something. So let us go to to John chapter number one. We're gonna be reading from verse number one. Uh, uh, it reads as follows. So let me open the English Bible because it seems like we are. But free men of God to talk whether in Swati or read Swati vision. Uh, feel free, feel free. Or whatever vision. Yeah, whatever vision, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, it reads as follows. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, mm. and the Word was God. Mm. The same was in the beginning with God. Mm. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. Mm -hmm. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness compared in naught, comprehended in naught. There was a man sent from God. Whose name was John? Okay, let us read from. Let us read uh, verse number fourteen. Fourteen. It reads as follows: And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us, and we held His glory, the glory as of the only forgotten of the Father. We we we, we are reading from the book of John, and uh, as we are reading here, we find that the In the beginning there was a word. Mm. And the word and the, and the Bible says the word was with God. Mm. And the word was God himself. Mm. As the Bible describes. Mm. So what makes me believe that uh, there is a trinity of God. Mm. The Bible says the, 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 there is Holy Spirit. Mm. It says there is there is a father, mm. and then there is a son, mm. and then there is a Holy Spirit. Mm. You see, where we are reading, it says there was a way, mm. and the way became flesh, mm. and it dwelt amongst us. Mm. You see, it says that the, without the way, mm. there was nothing. Mm. Without the way, nothing was made complete. Mm. Without the way. Nothing was there. Mm. So it needed the word to, to, to speak in order for the things to manifest. Mm. Nothing was manifested without the word. Mm. So it says the word was with God. Mm. So there is a Holy Spirit, there, there is a Father, mm. and there is a Son, and there is a Holy Spirit. Mm. So when it, speaks, when it speaks of the word, it speaks of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because it even says that the, the word and it dwells amongst the people. Mm. So when you speak of the word, we speak of Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, he says, as God himself, he says that without the Father, I, I mean the Father, mm. and the Father is in me. Mm. You see? So there is a Holy Spirit with, which dwells amongst us, mm. which is the one that is guiding us. Mm. So there is a Father, there is a Son which came to earth, mm. that was the way that was creating everything on earth. Mm. Mm. So that is why I believe that the, the, there is a trinity, because even Jesus Christ, whenever he speaks, mm. he speaks of his Father, mm. in which is called. And the, the Bible says, the Bible says there is a Father, there is a Son, and this, there is a Holy Spirit. Mm. So when we speak of a Father, we are speaking of God, mm. and uh, they all have, they all have, uh, what, 
what must I say? They all have their children. Each and every, each and every one in this, in this trinity, in this trinity, have their duties. Have mm. their duties. Mm. You see. Mm. So the way it was creating, mm. the Holy Spirit is the guider. Mm. Uh, there is a Hebrew word. It's a Hebrew word, or it's a it's a Hebrew word or Greek name, mm. which uh, says Paracletus, mm. and which says another helper. Mm. And which means this is a being without physical body. Mm. Mm. You see, so whenever we speak of God, we are speaking of these three things. Mm. God is not complete if the Father is not there. Mm. God is not complete if, if the Holy Spirit is not there. God is not complete if the Son is not there. Mm. So these three needs each other in order to complete what? God. It says the Holy Spirit is the third person in, in God's head. Mm. So without the Holy Spirit, that means God is not complete. Mm. That is why I believe in what? In Trinity. Mm. And whenever you read in Genesis, it, it will tell you that the Spirit of God was hovering mm. on top of the waters. Mm. That means there was no place for the, for the Holy Spirit. Mm. But when Jesus came, it manifested unto us. Mm. You cannot see it, but you can feel it. Mm. But you can hear it. Mm. In other words, it is a being without a physical body. Mm. So that is why I believe in, in the Trinity. Wow, wow, wow. Viewers, wherever you are, I believe you have just heard it. Uh, the grind visual is bringing unto you in a higher definition than you have ever thought. So tonight we are so blessed and we are so excited. I believe at home you have just heard the word of God and you are so excited uh, hearing the word of God from the man of God, Pastor Salima, when he was unpacking the word of God to say there is a trinity of God. There is like God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The man of God further elaborated that there, there is also a, a, the, the, the Allos Parakletos, which means another helper. I will just give him the opportunity um, to also say the, the, the side of, of his belief or rather of his standing. DJ Miyasa, the, the, the podium is yours. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Um, I've heard uh, the pastor has mentioned a lot of things with regards to the Trinity. Mm. He has made uh, some lot of points. Uh, uh, we read in the glorious Quran, chapter 112. Uh, verse 1 it reads like Kul wallahu ahad. say Allah is one ahad one not two not three not, not uh, many say Allah is one he is one uh, verse number two Kul wallahu ahad Kul wallahu samad is it lam yani wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu ufwan ahad and there is nothing there is nothing like unto him if you read in the book of Isaiah chapter 45 verse number five I believe the pastor in his phone has got the Bible. He can check these things while I'm talking to verify if I'm telling the truth. Um, of which I believe that I'm telling the truth, quoting from his scripture. So well, I'm quoting from the Quran just to, to reveal the background. What am I saying with regards to God as a, a one, as Ahad? This Ahad I'm talking about, even Jesus, when he was here on earth, he never claimed to be God, he never claimed divinity. He was, he was preaching what the very same Quran is saying. If you read in the book of Firstly, you check uh, Isaiah chapter 45, verse 5. It reads like this. Um, it says, I am God, and there is no one else. There is no any other God except God, the one who is speaking there. And it says, He's the maker of all things. He's not talking about any way, did there anything. He says, He's the maker of all things. If you read the book of Isaiah, the book of Isaiah chapter 45, verse 5, and you check book of Isaiah 44, verse 24. He says, I form you in your mother's womb. We believe that God is the one who's forming people in, in, in mother's womb. Even Christ was in his mother's womb. Therefore, he cannot be God. But going to what was Christ teaching, the pastor, while he's still verifying Isaiah 45, verse 5, and Isaiah 44, verse 24, uh, to check the standards of God. What is God saying about himself? Not what me am saying. What is God saying about himself? He can read it to our viewers if uh, he wills it, uh, verse 45, verse 5. Then so that I can proceed uh, with regards to this oneness of God. What was the Christ preaching when he was here on earth? I think the pastor has seen the verse. If you find the verse, then chapter 45, verse 5. Please read this for us aloud so that the viewers can hear it. There you go. I am the Lord 
and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I guided thee, though thou hast not known me. Now jump to chapter 44, verse 24 of the book of Isaiah. Back chapter, just was 45, just go back a little bit, just the 44th chapter, and uh, verse uh, number 24. Because here we are talking in scripture. Uh, you see, when you're in the court of law, you need to pro produce your witnesses. So now my witnesses upon my talk or my argument is the Bible. So let us leave out the Quran for now and deal with uh, this book where he was quoting from. 44 verse 24. Thus said the Lord, thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord that maketh all things. Yes. That stretch for the heavens alone. Yes. That uh, spreadeth abroad the earth by myself. By myself. As in God is talking there, not me talking through the lips, through the prophet of Isaiah in the Bible and the Old Testament, that he did all these things alone. He has made that there is nothing that was created except for uh, the way which became flesh, quoting from the book of John, chapter 1, and you jump straight to uh, verse 14 of that chapter 1. Therefore, he was uh, establishing that the word uh, was with God, and the word was God, of which we find two people there. These two people, now they became to be one. We find Jesus when he was baptized by John the Baptist. There was a word there uh, which says, this is my son, uh, in whom I am pleased. That way is not Jesus. Jesus was there baptized, but there was a way that God was speaking on his own. God can do things on his own. He doesn't need Jesus as the way. Because when Jesus was here on earth, then Jesus was there. The spirit of which we touch on the Holy Spirit, it descended in the form of a dove. It was flesh. Therefore, now we've got two flesh. The way that became flesh, which is Jesus there inside the water, and the Holy Spirit in the form of a dove, of which is flesh, is here. But there was a way there. Which word? Was, whose word was that? It was the word of God, saying, This is my son, in whom I am well pleased. It's there. It's written that John claimed that he heard it. So therefore, what I'm saying is, uh, what the pastors quoted with regards to the book of John, chapter 1, verse 1, it's an argument of another day that how did it came about? Because other scriptures, it says that uh, uh, in the uh, Antios, if you read uh, the script, script, scriptures, it says the Antios, in the beginning there was a word, the Logos, which is the word. They was with God. The first way they focus is Antios. The second day was with uh, the word was with God. The word was God is Hotios. If there is Antios and Hotios and Tontios, it means a God, a God meaning Godly. So now the writers or the translators of that Greek scriptures, because they want to teach that Jesus is also God, they left it like that. In your Bible, if you read the book Second Corinthians chapter two, Second uh, Corinthians chapter four, verse four, it says the devil is the god of this world. You see, it's there in your Bible. It says the devil is the god of this world. No Christian is telling you that they are worshiping the devil, though the Bible calls. Uh, 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 Satan, the devil of the, the, the God of this world. You see, so we continue. He said that um, he's mentioned that God uh, cannot be God without this tree. I think the book of Isaiah refutes that part. God is saying he is God alone. What was Jesus teaching? I've touched that part. Jesus said, if you read the book of Mark, uh, chapter 12 verse 28 29 if you read mark chapter 12 verse 28 29 it reads there the scribes came unto him hearing him reasoning him who jesus reasoning then this he asked jesus master which is the great commandment of all then jesus said in hebrew language shama israel adonai elechino adonai echad which means here O israel the lord our god the lord is one Hello, which is which which agrees with uh, this Ahad, the lord our god the lord is one he had an opportunity to say, look man, I am God, man. but because you are, you can't uh, grasp too much things. Uh, what he did was saying, uh, Shama Israel Adonai Elechen Adonai Echad, which means here, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one God. Even the scribe says, you have said, he said, love, then continue, love your Lord with all your heart, love your neighbors, love thyself. If you read the continue verse 33 of that chapter 12, uh, verse 33, even the scribe is saying, you have said it correctly. Now, he repeated what was said by Moses 1300 years ago in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 4. Not even a change of a thought. Same thing. Shama Israel, Adonai Elohim, Adonai Echad, which means here, O Israel, the Lord, our God. If he says our, he's putting himself. The Lord is one. 
Therefore, now we come and find that Jesus Christ was in the womb of Mary. We read that in the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 21. It says, When he was eight days old, he was circumcised, and he was named Jesus by an angel when he was in his mother's womb. I want the part that was he was in his mother's womb. God in the book of Isaiah said, He is the one who makes everyone to be in their mother's womb. God cannot be in the womb. Or else, if Jesus is God, you are telling me that your God came to a vagina. That's my point. God is one. Jesus Christ cannot be God. Uh, you have just heard yourself, viewers at home, I believe, and I trust that uh, your enlightened uh, PG show does not uh, force anyone to believe what it presents. But we, we bring uh, data, we bring information, we bring epinopsis to you so that for you to decide which one is 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 it suits you so right now we are going to the end of of, 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 of this show but we are closing in style tonight grind visuals hashtag memories in motion